What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing the progress report update with the Instagram account. We're doing the seven day growth series on Instagram. How many followers can we grow within seven days uh, using the methods that we're teaching here. And um, yesterday's following, as you guys saw from the YouTube video of yesterday, uh, we had a total of 449 followers. This was yesterday. Today, we have a total of 532. 532 followers. So we gained 32 or 33 followers. Uh, in terms of following, if you look at the numbers, 2,622, and it went up roughly by 130, uh, 130 followers by two, seven, uh, 2,754. So I like to do the numbers. So let's just pull out a calculator here. And first, let's figure out what our conversion rate is for the numbers that we were doing. So um, since it went to 2,754 total following, it means we increased by about 132 people. So we followed 132 people and we gained uh, roughly 30, I believe, 32 followers, something like that, 33 followers, right? So let's go ahead and do this. 33, without the calculator here, uh, 33 divided by 132, and that is 25%. 25% conversion rate that we're looking at right now. So really what this means is with the target that we selected yesterday, and I'll just show you guys what target we were using uh, for the um, the, for the account that we were using yesterday. Let's go ahead and search for uh, faith quote. That's what we were searching for. Hopefully they're still at the top of the tag so we can kind of go ahead and interact with them here. Let's give it a second. Maybe they're not at the top of the tag, but... Yeah, here they are. This was the account that we were um, targeting yesterday. They have a smaller account. And I want you guys to notice something. In yesterday's video, maybe we can pull it up here. Um, let's just go ahead and see how big their account was yesterday. So yesterday, guys, they were at 4,993 followers. This is the competitor account. They are growing organically. They've been posting for... Over a year, they post every single day, multiple times a day, okay? They're at 4,993 followers. Today, the, the account is at 5,008 followers. So that's literally, what? What's 8 plus, eight plus uh, 7? That's 15. They gained 15 followers in the period of a day, and they're at 5,000 already. We started at 500 followers, right? And this was the account that we were targeting. We started at... Uh, uh, 499 followers, and we gained 33 followers. So that's double the following that a normal account would have got through organic growth. Uh, the reason why I'm, I point this out specifically is also keep in mind, when this account started, we didn't start at zero followers and we were posting all the same content. No, we were at, this was a car account at first, and then we transformed it into a... Um, into a uh, like a religious account kind of thing and we had to switch things up we had to test different things so you see kind of the dichotomy the numbers here in comparison of organic growth to or excuse me organic growth which was in yesterday's video of this account and uh, today's growth so now what I'll do is I'm gonna open up a notepad okay and this is what I want you guys to do also when you're trying to track your success. You want to write down the competitor's name. The competitor's name was all, thi all things work together for good. All things work together for good. Okay? And we know that the conversion right now is 25% on that. Right? 25%. So what we could do is we could save this file right for later use and we're going to come back to it every day every morning and what we'll do is we're going to test and see our results now we haven't w waited a full 24 hours we actually waited about let's say 22 hours the video was posted at like one in the afternoon yesterday uh the, this video so it's not a full 24 hours but it's okay i mean we're still getting followers as you guys can see if i reload my page the most recent uh, followers was eight followers and four likes, and we could see how recent that was. It was nine minutes ago we got a like, and one hour ago we got a follow. So we could get a, a few more follows, um, and then that conversion rate would slightly increase. Uh, but either way, 
this is a, a rough estimation, whether it goes up to like 28%, 30%, regardless, we kind of get the idea now. So really what that means at a 25% conversion rate, guys, is if we take these numbers, if we extrapolate these numbers, and let's say you gain, uh, let's say you're doing, and I didn't even do a full 150 follows, um, but let's just say I, well, excuse me, I did do the full 150 follows, but obviously some accounts were private and they didn't want to uh, be followed, so they re rejected the uh, follow request, and so the, you know, the number obviously didn't reach the full 150, it reaches 132, but let's just say 132 times 0.25, which is 25%, 33.75, okay? So this 33.75, imagine if you gain that every single day, and, and by the way, 33 followers a day is good, but it's, it's not, you know, it, it's, it's good, it's right in the middle, it's good, right? Let's say we do this a week. We, we get the exact same numbers, and we do this every week. That's multiplied by 7. That's 236 followers a week. So that means you gained an extra 236 followers a week just if you stuck to that one basic target, right? Now, 236, if we multiplied that by 4, right, because we want to see how much we'll gain in a month, it's 945 followers in a month. We're talking in a month. And this took, what, a few seconds to do, Right? If we take that month of 945 and we multiply it by 12, that's 11,340. So you can see here the type of results that you can expect within a year with something where, where you gain that many followers a day. So whenever you guys jump on this, on this, on using an Instagram bot to grow, for those who don't know, we're using bots, uh, bots and apps Gumroad, and we're also using uh, IGBots.org. They're almost the same products as you guys know, uh, but this product is a one-time payment, and it does not offer the uh, comment feature, okay? If you want to get the comment feature, it's right here. It costs $9.99 a month. If you don't want to pay up front, I actually, I talked about this yesterday, but if you don't want to pay up front for this $119 tool, maybe a better, more secure investment for you is a monthly so that you don't, ha you know, you don't pay everything up front and you figure out what you want to do uh, with your business. But, I'll leave these two, you know, the links to these tools up, and you guys can go ahead and check them. They're in the description box. If you're interested, check them out. They're both affiliate links. I do get a small kickback with every little uh, purchase. I think with these, I get like a dollar kickback or a dollar fifty, something like that. And uh, with these, I get like five dollars and uh, sixty cents. I can't remember the exact number. Uh, but it's something close to that. So, small kickback to help out the channel. If you happen to be interested, use the affiliate link. All right. But anyways. This is kind of like what we're doing is we're controlling our outcome, right? And the idea here is, guys, is also we're not waiting for organic growth. Like if you if we look at that competitor account, right, that all let's go ahead and search them all things. What was their name? All thing. There we go. All things work together for good. If we come like if we were to compete with this account in the course of a year at the rate that they're growing and at the rate we're growing, even though they have the advancement of 5000 followers, we can we can match them by the end of the year. Like maybe they'll reach uh, twelve thousand followers by the end of the year, and we'll reach the same amount. You get what I'm trying to say, and that's the reason why I'm saying that is because of the rate of growth. And if we switch our targets, right? If we switch the tar the targets that we're using, it will become you know a completely different result. We could get higher or lower. And this is why I say when you're focusing on using an Instagram bot like this, like let's say here, and uh, you know, all the other tools, just pull it up here, the Instagram bot, is you want to think about a few things. The first thing you want to think about is the competitor, okay? The th next thing you want to focus on is the content that you're producing. Now, uh, I believe it was Mark Wilder, he posted uh, some some uh, questions, so I'm going to pause the screen real quick, and I'm going to answer those questions in terms of using for Instagram bots, okay? So let's go ahead and, and tackle that right now. All right, guys, so we got some uh, questions here on the YouTube channel uh, from Mark Wilder. Big shout out to Mark Wilder, by the way. Uh, Mark Wilder was a, a person in the comments. He's a viewer of the channel. Um, I could be wrong. Military? I'm not sure. H have you been in the military, Mark? I'm really not sure. Uh, I think he has, but I, I can't remember. Um, I know his profile picture looks like he benches 500 pounds, but um, shout out to Mark Wilder. He, he mentioned that he was, and guys, the reason why we're using the Instagram bots is to grow financially. He, he's mentioning 
uh, the strategy that I've mentioned before of using Instagram bots for Redbubble, so his Redbubble store. And uh, maybe frequent viewers of the channel know what I'm talking about when I talk about Redbubble. We make videos, uh, passive income videos at night, where we do talk about things like Redbubble and things like that. But um, let's go ahead and answer some of his questions. So he's saying, I'm curious to know if there's anything that needs to be set up uh, as you create the account so the bots work better. So the answer is yes. There are different ways that you can optimize uh, your account to get better results for your Instagram bot. All right. So you don't have to go back and fix settings uh, like that. Okay. So in terms of settings, settings are going to be, you know, really not that hard to fix. But we'll, we'll get back to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and read the whole entire message here. And it says, and also, how are you tagging your pictures? Are you sending them to uh, design on Redbubble or are you sending them to your overall shop? I know it seems like rookie questions. I'm okay with it because if you if you don't ask, you don't learn all that. All right. So, um, first of all, I appreciate all the questions. He says, do you have a course that shows everything prior to how you started, etc.? So, let's go ahead and tackle the questions uh, one at a time. So, he said, all right, first of all, I, he, one of the qu questions he mentioned is, do you add the link in the bio? Do you add it to the whole entire Redbubble store or do you add it to a certain product? Let's go ahead and take out Redbubble here and pull out Redbubble. And let's go ahead and, and go here to Redbubble. And we could see here Redbubble. Now, let's just imagine for a second that this is my store, Gracie Designs AU. Okay, first of all, shout out to Gracie Designs. Um, I did review their store uh, in the last review. That's what exactly what I did. Uh, so shout out to uh, Gracie Designs, and we had a very positive review. Let's say this is the product I want to sell. Okay, and I and I put up promo pictures kind of like this about it. Right, I find the um, the uh, where is it here. Where is the, okay, if we go over here to all, view all, all the products, 87 plus products, I grab a photo here, I grab a photo here, I grab a photo here, right, and I put them on Instagram, okay, you got to remember that what that is, is, is really indirectly, it's sales content, it's sales content, so sales content is not going to get as much engagement, or it's not going to get you as many followers as just entertaining content is, okay? So, entertaining, inspirational, etc. So, there's really two umbrellas of the content that you're going to post on Instagram, right? We call them jabs and right hooks. Gary Vee actually is the one who created this idea. But, you know, the concept still stays the same. Everybody in Instagram, really, uh, who uses this method kind of has this strategy down pat. You have images that are directly related to sales, right? So, like an image like this. Okay, there's not much to say here other than the product that's being sold. Same thing with an image like this. Same thing with an image like this, right? Now, these images, okay, they're not going to get as much engagement because they're very polarizing. I've said this before about the comment tool here. When you, when you put up something that is directly going for the ask, it's polarizing. Either people are going to want it or they're not. They're either going to say yes or no, okay? And... There are times, like I said, where I where I showed the proof. I got two sales just after posting these three photos and using um, the uh, bot on my other account uh, to, to get this done. Now, uh, I don't know if it was on the other account or if it was through this account. It was through one of the accounts, right, that I got a sale. And the reason why I use this account as a demo account, uh, like I said, is because the copycats were just abusing everything, and I, I said, okay, if I want to keep growing uh, let me and keep making, the, turn this Redbubble store that I have into a moneymaker, which it is now, um, and it's only like 30-something days old, I have to keep it private. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, is, he, is this is obtrusively a sales post. You could read it here. It says, get the new cross, um, you know, get it on a hat, a shirt, a, a mug, a hoodie. Like, it's clearly a sales-related post. Unless a, a consumer has a direct desire to buy this exact product, it's kind of limiting the engagement, kind of limiting the growth of the account. Now, that's not to say that it won't grow. If you look at my older videos of me using the bot and posting only photos like this up until here, the account was growing. Like, it was growing and it was getting sales. The reason why I threw in these other photos is because you could see here with these photos, there's no um, sales content here. 
There's nothing that says anything about sales, but they get a lot more engagement. And when I say a lot more, don't base it on the numbers because like this photo that we posted here um, got 13 likes and then this one got 16, but the amount of time in between each two was drastically different. Like this post was posted with no bot uh, backing, no growth, nothing like that, and it got more engagement, right? So if you want to succeed with your Instagram, you want to realize that there's a good content mix, right? You want to post photos that are sales posts, and you want to post entertaining photos kind of like this. And when I say entertaining, it's just anything that's not related to sales. Anything that people will drive with, people will hit that thumbs up button on or that like button, people will follow you off of. They want to see more of your content, okay? Now, if you stick to just sales posts, you're going to get followers. You're going to get, you know, people that are interested in buying stuff from you and you're going to get engagement, but that engagement is going to be somewhat limited. Now, someone may, might make the argument, I don't want followers on my account unless they're interested in buying a product. And I agree with you. Like that's a good strategy to have. Um, but for me, since this was a Instagram growth challenge, I decided to include content like this. And I knew I was going to do this challenge uh, before. And that's why I started adding content like this that would be more interesting to people. All right. And that's why I wanted to build up the following. So if you want to get the best of both worlds, you want to grow your following and you want to grow your sales at the same time, you want to do a content mix. So I would maybe like post one here, one there, you know, one sales post, one entertaining post and flip flop back and forth. Something else that you could do is some people just literally post carousels kind of like this, if you see what I'm talking about, and they will post their first po photo in the carousel. It will be like an entertaining post. And then if you s slide the carousel, it will be a sales related post. Does that make sense? And so if what you do, if you do this, you're essentially... I mean, it's just a different strategy. There's nothing wrong about it. There's nothing, uh, well, it is good. It's a good strategy, but there's nothing bad about it or there's nothing that makes it clearly different. The results are going to differ for different people. Like if I say that I have a better experience in doing this than posting, you know, just straight sales versus uh, promo photos or entertaining photos, um, then, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to apply to you. So you got to test things out. Those are the two different strategies that exist. Now let's talk about what product to, or what link to add. Should you add a link to your whole store or should you add a link to one specific product? Um, I like to, what I found, I'll be honest, when why, when I found, uh, through my experience of using Instagram bots and getting sales with them, um, there were certain points where I would switch the link three, four, five times a day, depending on the posts that were going up on one specific account. And what I would do is I would actually cater the last post to that specific uh, product. And I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, when we sold this phone case, right? We only sold this phone case when we posted this photo. People will, if they really, really want to buy something, they will find it. Okay. And when we posted this photo, this photo was linked to its actual own link. So in my opinion, in my opinion, I would personally post the, the uh, link of the actual product that people are coming to see. Because you, you got to think about it this way as well. It will be harder for somebody who's on the edge, like they're really thinking about buying or not. Um, if they click on your link and it's to your store and all they see is hundreds and hundreds of products and they can't find that one product that they like, sometimes it could get a little hard. So in my opinion, what you want to do is you want to post the link for each product. Now, what I like to do is when I post, this is, this is why I use this example is when I post these kind of photos, you can see here, all three products, they're different. They're different colorways. They're different, like, you know, color scheme. But when I click on one of these products and I click on the link as a consumer and I view the similar products, these products are also going to come up as well. And if you remember the tag strategy that I, you know, talked about in the course, you guys can go ahead and see it here, the autopilot course, um, let's go over here to the tag course. I specifically talked about how to tag so that you show up in the similar section. Do you guys remember that? For all the course members, you guys know what I'm talking about. In the course, I've mentioned how to tag for a specific product where let's just go ahead and 
let me hold, go ahead and show you guys how to tag so that your products are all ending up in this similar section. I, I've exposed it before and I've shown it before, but this is what's helped me create more sales in my business. And more importantly, this is what helped my consumer find this product when the link was presented for this product. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you you realize how all of this works together in unison, right? When you use the bots, it increases your following. When you increase your following, you're increasing your chance to get sales. When when people click on your uh, bio, they go to your Redbubble store. When they go to your Redbubble store and you have t proper tags properly, right? You're maybe on page two, page one on the bottom. Nobody's really seeing your design, let's just say. You get a sale. Next thing you know, you're at the top of page one. Maybe you get a few sales. You're in the middle of page one, whatever the case may be. Now, people start seeing your design more through Redbubble itself and maybe not necessarily through Instagram after you got that sale through Instagram. And now you're generating organic sales through Redbubble and you can move on to other products that you're selling on Redbubble by promoting them as well. See, what that does is this whole system, guys, they work together in unison. It's almost like a... a um, like, I don't even know, like a key, entering a keyhole. They just all work together. It works perfectly. And the strategy that we came up with to do this, guys, is what makes it work, right? So let's go ahead and tackle the, uh, so I hopefully I answered that question. You want to link to a specific product, that's my opinion. That's based on my results, okay? Um, some people are going to argue with you and say, no, it's different. Uh, and I would argue that for certain circumstances, it is different. But in terms of Redbubble, I would uh, link to a specific product. Like, for example, our last link, if we click on it, it takes us right here. I'll just go ahead and show you guys. It takes us right here, okay? Um, and that's just what it is. All right, next thing, okay? Um, what was the other question? It was, let's see here. How are you tagging your picture? So... Guys, with with Instagram, you just saw it, it was a, a it was an account that was growing organically. They're using hashtags. They're at the top of hashtags, and guess what? They only grew fifteen followers the whole entire uh, day. Okay, we did double that, and we're one tenth the size. We don't get any reach on tags. We don't do any of that. Honest to God, it doesn't really matter about the tags that you're using right now. Uh, when you're that small and you're starting from scratch, you're starting from zero. Instagram is not going to put you at the top of tags anyway, okay? Um, I just put tags just because I'm used to it. You got to remember that I, I've been doing this whole Instagram thing for like, you know, it's been, oh, it's been more than five years, okay? And at this point, it's become second nature to me. Uh, I remember being on my phone, being on the, you know, on the bots back in the day, uh, running a clothing company with multiple accounts, and I would type in, you know, tags for each account, each account, each account, each account. What I would say is, you know, just so you don't miss out on a potential opportunity, include tags. But there, but for me, at the at this point in time, when you have, you know, less than ten thousand ten thousand followers, there's really not a strategy that you need, in my opinion. In my opinion, and I'm speaking from thousands of accounts of experience. What's really going to help you grow more is the bot. Okay, and it just goes to prove, like I said, this account fully organic growth, they use hashtags, they use everything that you possibly could use, and they're up to 5,000 followers, and they grew 15 followers in one day, okay, and they're at the top of the tags, meaning if I search, for example, uh, let's, let's search here for faith quote, well, where's the button, faith quotes, right, I believe they're at the top for this, faith quotes, there you go, they're at the top, and they grew 15, 15 followers, so, and this is a, this is a, um, a tag with, with a 570, thousand posts. Um, there's a few reasons, guys, why you grow more on on uh, Instagram using the bots than you do with hashtags. When you grow you using the bots and people follow you, okay? Instagram, it's almost like Facebook. Instagram has this, this uh, similar list, like friends list kind of thing. If I follow, let's say, Diddy, right, on Instagram, and I have five other friends, Instagram is going to show Diddy's posts in the explore page of my five friends my my five friends profiles. You understand? He's getting more reach just because I simply followed him. This is why if we go on some of the accounts and view insights, let's just go ahead and take a look at the insights here. You could see here it says 17% weren't following uh uh quotes life from home, uh from profile, from impressions. The total impressions was 83. But 
most of the impressions came from the home, the profile, etc. So the, when it comes to all these numbers, we're getting traffic from peop, from more than just people we've interacted with. We're getting traffic from other individuals, right? We could see on this post here, let's go ahead and take a look at this post, 34% weren't following us. So this is a good thing. When this number goes up, that means you know we're interacting with more people, right? And so this is just, you know, kind of like be aware that um, at the level we're at, with z starting with zero followers, because I know you're starting from scratch, right? Tags are not going to make a critical difference. Now, do I recommend that you use tags? Yeah, go ahead and use tags. Like, why not? Um, you could go and search for just on Google regular tag generators, Instagram tag generators. You type in a word and it will come up with a bunch of tags. I used to have a very specific strategy for tags, uh, but then I realized that Instagram changed their algorithm. So the way that we use tags now is much different than the way that we used it a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, it was based on your engagement rate. It was based on the percentage of the amount of people that were engaging with you within a certain duration of time. And if you were able to surpass that threshold, which the threshold is the given top six posts. So for example, on Christian posts here, let's go ahead and click on them. The top six given posts or the top nine, excuse me, if you were to pass the threshold of those top nine posts, posts, then you had a better chance of moving forward. But you could see here uh, that, you know, it's, it, I don't want to say it's hard to do that, but a lot of these posts, like look at this, this one here, this is an older post, November 7th, right? Like November 7th is when? It's like um, two, I don't want to say two months ago, but you kind of get my point, right? Like this one was November 6th. This one was, let's go ahead and see when this one is, April 2020th tw uh, of the year 2020. It's not, Instagram has killed organic growth. Um, like people complain about organic growth. Instagram has killed it. Like there's nothing that much you could, I mean, there's like you guys saw it. Like right now you literally saw it, right? The top account for certain quote uh, for certain hashtags with over half a million posts gets 15 followers in one day. I mean, it's just, it, it is what it is. So with tags, if you want to just feel like you're doing the right thing and going through the right routine, just go on, on Google, search for a tag generator for Instagram and utilize those tags. But is it going to make a critical difference in your life? No, I promise you not. And something you want to realize is impressions don't mean clicks, don't mean views, don't mean followers. Uh, impressions mean absolutely nothing With in all due respect. Like I know some people say, like for their store, hey, Hey man, I got like a, a 500 impressions on my on my store, and I say, great. How many sales did you get? And then it's crickets. Impressions don't mean anything, guys. We we work on numbers numbers that you could take away to the bank account numbers that you can kind of prove on paper, like followers, following, etc. Um, hopefully, I answered all the questions. I mean, what else? What else am I missing here? Um, are you sending them to a design? We already did that. Are you tagging the photos? We did that. Um, let's see here. Are there any things you need to know to create the account to set the bots up to work better? So one of the things that you're going to need to know is you're going to need to know it's a testing game. You're going to have to play with the different posts that you have. And this is a perfect example of that. Like first we were doing these motivational quotes and they were all the same style, right? Then we started switching up the style by adding pictures. Then we started switching up the style by adding, uh, you know, creating religious type stuff. Then we started, uh, n you know, religious sales posts. Then we went from religious sales posts to engagement posts. Uh, then we switched up the style of the engagement posts. So the best thing to know here is that it's going to be a testing game. You're going to want to test. You're going to want to try different styles of photos. Um, and what I would say is, and what I would recommend is when you're focusing on Instagram growth like this, uh, you want to test different styles in bulk. So if you see here, this style right here, these st from here all the way to here, this is relatively the same style. Yes, it's a different product, but it's the same style, and you could see how, how much it grows your account for you. This style right here with the iPhones, that's one style right there, and you can see how much it, it grows your account for, how much uh, feedback you're getting from individuals after using the bot, right? This style here, how much feedback it gets from growing, you know, things like that. So be aware, all right, uh, of the different styles that you're testing, and look at your competitors. The next tip I would say if you want maximum uh, success is go for accounts that have a similar look and feel to yours. Sometimes you can even mimic uh, the style of their posts. So you can see here, like my post style does mimic 
the person that I targeted. So like you can see here, it's a, a verse from the Bible with the, you know, the, the uh, recitation, right? If we go back to that uh, account, it's the same style. You have a picture of nature in the background. You have the quote, you have the, uh, or you have the verse, and then you have the uh, location where it came from, right? So it's kind of like the same style. You want to match the style of the people that you're targeting just so you can see how many results you're getting, okay? Um, I bet you if I literally copied pixel for picture, like I copy and pasted these images, my conversion rate would probably have went up maybe, you know, a few percentage points but uh, you know at that point it's re there's really no point because you want to have some originality to you but you guys kind of get what i'm trying to say here is that when we're using the instagram bots what you're doing is it's not a lot of people get confused the instagram bot is not a um it's not like a get rich quick it's not like you know it, it's it's not like a a pill a magic pill a magic bullet it takes effort to use it, but not specific, like the bot is like what gets you the results, but you have to do the work before that. You have to post the right photos. You have to do the right targeting. And honestly, guys, out of all things online, this is probably one of the easiest things to do. If you can't, if you can't do this successfully, you're no offense. You can't do anything. It doesn't get easier than this. I'm telling you. And honestly, I think every single individual who watches this can do this successfully. So I'm not t I'm not bringing people down by saying if you can't do this, you can never do anything. No, I'm telling you that it's so easy that everybody can do it. Like that's exactly what I'm trying to say here. Um, and you guys saw like the process is radically easy. Like I click on a post, I open up a list, right? I open up the bot, I add my settings, I hit start. And I just leave it like that's like that's exactly what I do literally like I'm not even exaggerating and we can sit here and wait for the bot start liking photos because the delay is from 10 to 30 seconds but instead I'm just going to turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on and then I'm going to edit the numbers here just so you guys can see what I'm talking about from 1 to 10 seconds right or no let's do it from 1 to 6 seconds just so you guys can see hit um uh, I clicked the start button at the wrong time. Let me go ahead and reload again. Let me click on the following. Let me open up the bot. Now let me click start. And there you go. It's going to start working for me. You can see here it's already working. So that's easy. That that part is easy. Let me go ahead and refresh this because I, uh, by mistake, I, I uh, got out of this um, the menu. But you can see here, now it's going to start working again. This part is easy. Starting the bot, clicking the buttons, doing the setting. That's all easy. And I, I've spoken about the settings before. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I'll you know I'll link the video in the description box down below. If you need to learn about the settings, uh, it's there, and I put it up for free, uh, so you guys can check it out. But that part is easy. Anybody can do this. Uh, the hard part, well, it's not hard. There's nothing hard about Instagram botting. The part that takes a little more time is when you start posting certain photos. Um, and most of you guys are going to do a great job at this, like, like the overwhelming majority. Um, but like when I say majority, we're talking about 95%. Like it's, it's ridiculously easy to do this. You guys could see here, it's doing the work for me. Like it doesn't get easier than this. All right, let's go ahead and just stop the bot here. But you guys kind of get my point. So that's essentially what we're doing. So day one, we grew a total of 33 followers at a 25% conversion rate. So let me go ahead and save that 33 followers. Okay. And we're going to see what we ended at. What, how many followers did we end at? We ended at uh, 532. So let's go ahead and stick to that. 532 followers. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to document these numbers every day. So we're going to do this for seven days, and we're going to see the results. All right, two soon, so following. There you go. That's it. So uh, tomorrow in the morning, same type of video. We're going to talk about results, things like that. Um, if you guys want to see the passive income videos, excuse me, sorry about that. If you guys want to see the passive income videos, tune in at night. Subscribe hit the little notification bell. I'm not saying subscribe so that I can get more subscribers I'm saying subscribe so that you can be notified when when I end up posting because uh, when I post I'll post at night and those are money-making videos like you know passive income related videos This is what I call a marketing video marketing on a budget, right? If you're on a budget, this is you know uh, if you think about it the math $20 uh, to use a bot or 
what's the other one? IGBots.org. Let's go ahead and pull that up. IGBots.org. Uh, $119 to use a tool like this. That's marketing on a budget. Like if you saw some of the peop- the ad spend that people are paying, paying six grand, a hundred grand, fifty grand a month, just to advertise, you, you, obviously you're not going to get the same results. But we're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars, right? Uh, like for example, the amount of following that I got today, guys, the thirty three followers that I got today, that would probably cost me like maybe ninety dollars on Instagram advertising to get those results, ninety bucks. So if if you think this is too expensive, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I would say maybe just try to look into other methods of, of marketing uh, because other than this method, I mean, this out of all paid methods, this is the cheapest. When we're talking about Instagram bots and we're talking about like a, a one-time payment tool or even a monthly tool, this is the cheapest. It doesn't get cheaper than this. Uh, but I would say the cheapest, the absolute cheapest is just waiting for your account to grow. And as we saw with the other account, right, it could take a while. And that's why I don't like to wait. I, I like, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, get my success on demand kind of guy. I want it. I want it now. Right. And so I, I don't really wait, but you guys could see here the point. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video guys gave you some help, maybe some understanding around this stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.